హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ నా పేరు అరుణాపున్నా నేను మీ బాట్నీ లెక్చరర్ తెలంగాణ స్టేట్ లో ఈ సంవత్సరం జరిగేటటువంటి ఇంటర్మీడియట్ పబ్లిక్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్స్ లో బాట్నీ ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ లో వచ్చినటువంటి ముఖ్యమైన నాలుగు మార్కుల ప్రశ్న జవాబును నేను మీకు వీడియో క్లాస్ లో వివరిస్తాను టాపిక్ పేరు బైనామియల్ నామన్ ఫ్లేచర్ యూజువల్లీ ఆన్ దిస్ టాపిక్ యూ విల్ గెట్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇన్ దిస్ వే ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ బైనామియల్ నామన్ ఫ్లేచర్ యూ గెట్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇన్ ద ఎగ్జామినేషన్ యూ హావ్ టు రైట్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఇన్ దిస్ వే దిస్ ఈస్ ఫోర్ మార్క్స్ క్వశ్చన్ అండ్ ఆన్సర్ బై రైటింగ్ ద ఇంట్రడక్షన్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ బైనామియల్ నామన్ ఫ్లేచర్ అండ్ సైంటిస్ట్ నేమ్ యూ విల్ గెట్ వన్ మార్క్ and by writing universal rules of nomenclature any three you will get three marks here four points are there out of four you can write any three actually universal rules are uh, five but here i have given only four the remain one i will explain in the explanation part most of the students are asking in comment box madam your notes is very simple by writing that notes shall we get uh, eight marks out of eight or four marks out of four means 100% you will get because i prepared my notes based on scheme of valuation scheme of valuation is provided by board of intermediate while correcting your answer scripts scheme of valuation represent that to each and every point how many marks should be allotted by writing simple and short way get 100% marks please don't spend more time on the intermediate public exam by writing simple way get 100% marks and the remain time you can spend on competitive exams this is my opinion that is why i prepared my notes in simple way now i explain the topic in binomial nomenclature what is nomenclature nomenclature means giving particular name to any living organism why we have to give particular name for recognition what is the useful of recognition for example on the earth the lakhs of plants and animals are there these plants have useful and harmful effects so we want to know the useful and harmful effects and we want to share the useful and harmful effects of with others how can we say about the plant or animal that plant this plant that animal we could not say like that no one can understand which plant that one so at that time we must say particular name of the living organism that is why each and every living organism must have particular name up to now scientists gave already so many names to thousands of living organisms and one more thing daily nearly 150 species are extincting means completely disappearing and 50 new species evolving means generating even though we have thousands of languages throughout the world each and every living organism must have only one single particular name that name we can say it as scientific name so this scientific name must have only two words so here naming the plant or any living organism with two words we can say it as binomial nomenclature this binomial nomenclature first proposed by gaspard bohin but followed and implemented by carolus linnaeus so that is why total credit goes to carolus linnaeus by following universal rules of nomenclature only we can give any particular name to any living organism so here one example is mango plant the scientific name is mangifera indica in this name two words are there one is mangifera and the second one is indica these two words took from latin language why especially used latin language means this is ancient language and this language is not used by any countries as official language any official language is used then one kind of controversy takes place for example if indian language is used to these words what happens the remain countries object on this why that language only using why don't use our language the type of controversy takes place to avoid that one linnaeus used ancient language and non official language and while writing scientific name use italics italics means one kind of stylish handwriting some words land handwriting like this writing separately underline each word at the end of the scientific name you have to write the abbreviated form of scientist like this l i n here lin means linnaeus that means this mangifera indica scientific name had been given by carolus linnaeus if you give any new scientific name to any new evolving plant you can write first genus then species and you have to write your name in abbreviated form for example your name is chaitanya then you can write like this c h a i in short form just like it, l i n linnaeus like you have to write your name in abbreviated form as chai here this first word is genus and the second word indica is species mangifera is genus so in the genus the first letter must be in capital letter and in the species the first letter must be with a small letter and what is genus and what is species i will explain you here take the three examples potato tomato and brinjal potato scientific name is solanum tuberosum tomato scientific name is uh, solanum lycopersicum and brinjal scientific name is solanum melangena so in the first one solanum is the genus tuberosum is species the second one solanum is genus and lycopersicum is species in brinjal solanum is uh, genus and melangena is species 
So here you can see the species name tuberosum lycopersicum and melangena. These three words are different. But when we come to the genus, in all three plants, solanum is the same word. Why? What is the reason? Here species means group of individuals with same similarity. When we come to the potato, all potato plants come to one species. And all tomato plants come to one another species. And all brinjal plants which have same similar characters come under one species. But here all these three different species come under one single genus. Why? Here you can observe the flower structure of potato, tomato and brinjal. Just the petal color is different. But the remain the structure of and the number of petals, sepals, stamens and the arrangement and the structure of stamens and everything is similar to each other. All the three flower structure is similar. That is why these three different species come under one single genus like Solana. So here genus means group of species with common similarities. Here what are the common similarities means flower structure is common similarity. Due to this common similarity only all these three different species come under one single genus. That is why all these plants have common genus and the species is different. The next group of genus with common similarities come under family. All these plants come under which family? Solanaceae. So now in the scientific name, you have understood somewhat about the genus and species, I think. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.